Hey, good morning everybody, Cowboy Tim. Coming to you from inside the Super Crusher. Well, we got a little bit of a late start than we wanted to. The time is uh, 7.24 a.m. local. That's like 8.24 to us because we've been uh, going uh, back in our time. But what, what happened this morning is uh, this little gizmo right here is a tire pressure monitoring system that was given to me by um, Flagstaff when I bought my camper. And it tells you the tire pressure of each tire and the temperature of the tire, and it revolves around, and it's Bluetooth. And you can plug it in or you can just charge it up and you know be cordless, and that's what I've done. So this morning I turned it on and beep! It has a, it emits a warning if you go over or under and you can set how many pounds you want to be warned if the tire pressure should drop so of course i'm from south florida and we're in 40 degrees weather what do you think probably everyone's uh tire pressure in the cars up here in this area uh, since they've been having cold weather has needed air and let me tell you something this truck feels like it's a hot wheels you remember Hot Wheels and Matchbox? Um, Hot Wheels always roll better than Matchbox. This thing, I, I went around, I did every tire on the truck, the uh, four tires on the camper, and I got this uh, beautiful, high-powered electric, not a cigarette lighter job, electric tire pump given to me by Timmy Appleseed when I met him at the uh, Tropicana with the cramper and he also gave me a bunch of other things he's a big time uh, garage sale shopper and he picked it up and he let me have it and some other things and man did it come in handy and then Jay he happened to have a Westinghouse portable 2200 2000 watt generator weighs about 45 pounds and you can pick it up and move it around and plug that thing in. Now, I, I've got a generator, but I would have had to get it out of the truck, you know, and he's got one in his uh, camper. We'd have had to get an extension cord and all of that stuff. So that thing is really, it paid for itself this morning. And now I expect gas mileage to go up because I'm gonna do another thing to help it uh, based on the suggestion of one of my subscribers is to try putting in the mid-grade uh, gasoline. Instead of the 87, I'm gonna go with 89. And I'm down to um, a little over a quarter, so I'm gonna try and burn it down as much as I can so I can have the best gas in it instead of mixing it you know, with a half a tank or three quarters of a tank of the 87. <laughs> and this is something that Jay also suggested. So this morning, uh, we didn't make breakfast yet. We decided to drive for an hour or so, and then we'll stop and make breakfast. But a whole new dynamic this thing feels like. feels like it's rolling on good, hard, uh, inflated tires instead of dragging flat tires. The trailer, this, the, no fishtailing. I'm doing dead on 65. It's 7.4 miles per gallon currently, and it's climbing. I'll let you know what happens, especially after I put the other uh, higher octane gas in. But I'm really excited about, um, I thought the tire pressure on the camper probably needed some. I should have done it before I left the house. But here we are right now, they're warming up. Uh, you can see I got 67, and then it switches over. Get back over on the road here. 65, and 65, 68. And, and the sticker on the uh, camper says 65. So, I mean, we're well inflated, and that's cold temperature. You're supposed to check them. They were definitely cold, not rolled on at all uh, in the truck, too. Now, the truck tells me 60 and 65 in the back, and I'm currently uh, rolling with um, dead on 65 miles an hour. I'm rolling on 59, 60, 64, and 66. So 
we're pretty pretty close, close enough for uh, <coughs> government work, and that's also heated up, so you could probably use a little bit more. I guess that gauge on the uh, tire pressure uh, uh, pump, the tire pump, isn't as accurate as it looked to be, but we're definitely um, up in the rear and running at 60 right now, whatever, whatever temperature they are. They're still pretty cold because I'm showing 70 degrees temperature on the rear tires and they'll get up well over 100 when they're uh, in warm weather. So we're good. And let's get on back over here to the EPA. <clears throat> I'm averaging 8.9, it says, since uh, I left Florida. Uh, 7.6. I'm up to, and the the uh, the gauge trip trip odometer one that I never reset. The average is now up to 8.5, but that that's including the uh, when I had lower tire pressure and the lower octane fuel. I mean, I want to see 10, man. I want to see 10. I'll be happy. So we're working on that. Go back over here to trip odometer two, and. Uh, 7.6 is what we're getting. I uh, got 96 miles to empty, and we've come 10 miles on our way to um, well over 400 miles today, or at least. We want to get somewhere kind of early. We're definitely going to have a, a fire tonight if we can and break out the barbecue grill. Uh, on my first gas stop up here, I'm going to take out of the freezer my um, cowboy steak. They've got some too. And it's going to be a good, fun, long day of traveling. I appreciate your prayers and safe travels. Everybody always says that in the comments. I read a lot of comments this morning laying in bed about 2 a.m. Tried to answer a few, but I did read them. Thank you so much for taking the time to comment. And again, I want to thank everyone that has um, contributed to buy me a coffee and supported the, uh, the channel to help out a little bit. Uh, that's really, really appreciated. Use the Amazon link if you're doing some Christmas shopping. It's Black Friday coming up. Uh, please use my Amazon link. It'll take you to a product, and then you just search for the products you want from there, and it'll take you to your cart, your payment method. Won't cost you another penny, and it will help out the channel as well. So for all of you that do support and help, I greatly appreciate you. And everybody else that watches and comments, I appreciate you too. I appreciate the haters, because believe it or not, they do help. Crush it!